Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concept. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about air intakes. And so what we've got here is we have an air intake, uh, probably very similar to the one that you have on your car. Um, inevitably, we always get the request to have these dipped in a uh, custom pattern or carbon fiber or something like that. And so we thought we'd shoot a quick little video, show you guys a few techniques, a few tricks, and uh, also let you see the end result of one of these as well in case you might be one to get one of these done now a couple of things to look at now this is of course round but it is not straight okay so we have a couple of bends and then of course uh, every intake is going to be made differently some of them bend downward and inward and so they've got all of these funky shapes so uh, pretty much in the video we're going to pretty much talk about what all we're gonna to have to look at whenever we are dipping something like this, as well as some of the things that you can do to help avoid maybe either some stretching or making it look the best all the way around. So let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at this and kind of examine it and take a look and see what we've got. So of course we know from the photos that the customers already sent us that this is actually the top of the tube. And so of course, whenever you're doing an air intake like this, you want to make sure that the top or the area that is most seen is going to be the most noticeable and it's going to look the best and so you got a couple of ways that you can do this number one you can of course roll the part into the pattern or number two you can just dip it directly straight down into the water now if you have a part that is just a round tube like this and it doesn't have a lot of curves and edges and things like that then it would probably be better to go ahead and roll it because then that way as you're rolling it you can wrap it all the way around now of course nobody's looking underneath the car so they're not really going to see this bottom part down in here but if you do want to try to get the best possible look for the job that you're doing that's going to be the best way now whenever you start adding in these curves and elbows and things like that into the part that's what makes it really tricky because then the roll doesn't quite work out the way that we want it to and so as we're going down into it there's not a defined line and then the line can be moved and then stretched and it just doesn't really quite work out as well so even in a case like this that has a slight curve right in here and even a slight curve downward like that we're actually going to dip this almost straight down into the water and so what we're going to do is, is we're going to focus more on where the part is seen the best and so in this case it's going to be seen more right in this area right here so a thing that i like to do is i like to take a piece of tape on the inside of the tube throw a little piece right there as well as put a little piece right here and so all this is going to do is just show me as a visual thing because if i take this and i flip this up like that as i'm somehow maneuvering it around i can easily get disoriented and think that okay this is the right way and when in reality it's not and so by having these pieces of tape right here number one we're not on the part that's actually going to get dipped so we're not blocking any of the dip but number two, it's more of a visual thing for me, so then that way I know that end and this end right here needs to go down into the water. And so now it's going to be a very easy dip going down because I can visually see my tape here and my tape here, and I know that that's the side that needs to be dipped going down into the water. So what we're gonna do here is, is we're going to, of course, dip it all the way around. And so inevitably, as you will probably guess, as the dip goes around this object, it's going to have a lot of stretch coming all the way around here. So we have two options. Number one, you can take maybe, if we're gonna be doing this in a carbon fiber, we might take a black and just kind of black in this bottom section all the way down in here. Make it really nice, make it look presentable, make everything look really good with the part. Or number two, because it's not gonna be visible to the customer itself, you may just say, okay, it's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and leave it. Leave the line where it's at and you don't have to worry about it because the customer or anybody that's seeing underneath the hood is never going to see it. So that's gonna be a, something that you're gonna to have to figure out on what's gonna be the best case scenario for your air intake. Um, but in this case, we're gonna go ahead and we'll probably add a little bit of black on the back side of this just to make it look a little bit more professional and also look completely um, uniform all the way around. So 
let's go ahead let's get our film rolled out and get this cut figure out how much of a piece that we need for the film and uh, we'll get started As we lay this down, we're going to make sure that we have no bubbles in it. And then once we've got it laid out, we'll start our timer. And of course, with this film right here, we're going to have one minute on the water at around 80 to 90 degrees. Once we have that one minute, we'll spray it with our activator, dip it, and then we have a fully dipped carbon fiber piece. Again, I've got my visuals right there and right here. And then we're gonna take this nice and slow, going all the way down. telling you about which is of course airbrushed in to just fade back into the carbon again you're not going to see it but it is something that it does make it look really nice and professional even though just having just the stretch alone was probably going to be just fine hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below we'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related as well as if you would have done anything differently on the dip or anything like that we'd always love to hear from you that. Also, if you haven't already, definitely check out the website. The website has everything that you need for hydrographics, including all the materials that we used here in the video, as well as training and tanks and equipment, anything like that that you need, it's all there on the website. So definitely check that out. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.